Hey everybody. I hope that you're having a great day today. So this month I decided to try something different. So I have three different favorites videos. There's going to be a movies of the month. There's going to be a food favorites and fails. And there's going to be this, which is the beauty favorites and fails. Um, I did try uh, several new things, quite a few new things, and um, there's one thing that I've had for a while that I never really gave a good breaking in, and I feel like I'm in the process of that. So, um, and there's a few rediscovered favorites. Excuse me while I get my tea. I'm just drinking some Celestial Seasonings Echinacea Complete Care Wellness Tea. Um, I've been sick for the last couple of days, and so this is what I drink when I'm sick. And I am not wearing any makeup because I've been sick, but also because I wanted to show you this. It's the remnants of my breakout, if you can see that. So I'm going to start with the fails because I want to kind of discuss something before we get on to everything else. So first fail. Um, I got this. There is an elf haul that is coming. Um, I don't think it will be up yet, but it is coming, um, in which I got one of their buffers, and it's like one of those one, two, three buffers, but this doesn't seem to be, it's all the same to me. I mean, even the polishy side, um, this is absolutely a fail. It's not worth your dollar. Um, I tried to use it because it says step one file, so I tried to use it and it's such a wimpy file, like it's useless. And then remove ridges, this wouldn't remove the ridge off of nothing. And then I tried to buff and it didn't do anything. I still have ridges. And then I didn't do the polishy part because I was going to paint my nails. But yeah, absolute fail. It's a dollar, so I'm not too broken up about it. But waste, don't waste your money on this. I'm still um, trying to find a good one, two, three buffer. Um, I saw one at the Dollar Tree that was better than this, if that tells you anything. But, um, anyway, so Elf Buffer is a no-go. Okay, so this is the Josie Marin Argan Cleansing Oil. I, um, have been using this for about a month, and it takes off my makeup beautifully. Um, there's no problems there. Um, I love the way it smells. It smells like oranges, but I used it before I took it to a friend's house when I spent the weekend and I came home and I had these little bumps I didn't think anything about it and I just put it off to the side and started using uh, the philosophy purity cleanser that I'm trying to work through well I started using this and I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it you know and I've been using this pretty much every night um, for about a month and then I haven't used it for a few days this was actually worse than this and I looked up the ingredients because I was like, this has to be the thing breaking me out. It's the only new thing I had been using. And I was really ticked off. The very last ingredient um, for this is sucralose, which is the um, scientific name or whatever for Splenda. Splenda is an artificial sweetener. There ain't nothing natural about it. I got ticked. I am allergic to artificial sweetener. When I ingest it, it gives me migraines. It gives me, if you look up the, the side effects of Splenda and Aspartame, I get, I say 80% of them. So I'm pretty sure that the Splenda in this is probably the thing causing my little breakout. Um, but it makes me angry. Josie Marin touts that she is natural. And I've heard she's greenwashed, and I've seen the phenoxyethanol and stuff. I'm, I'm not dumb. But to put sucralose in a skincare product. It's a sweetener. Why would you put that in it? But anyway, so this is a fail. Um, honestly, I, I'm going to toss it. I really am because S Splenda, and it, it, I can't, I can't, I can't. So next thing, on to more positive things. <laughs> I got an order from veganessentials.com. That's also another video uh, that, that will be in a video that is forthcoming. But I got the Bloom Naturals Combination and Oily Skin Towelettes. I really like these. I used them one night. Uh, I'd had them for a couple of days and I was having one of those lazy, lazy moments. Okay, isn't that a little disconcerting with Freddie, like over my shoulder? Happy Halloween. Um, anyway, but, and it's organic 
tea tree oil. It's just a fresh scent and not in the overwhelming, overpowering spa scent. Um, they're good sized. They are, I don't want to take it out. I know I'm horrible. Um, but um, I love these. These are amazing. I very much recommend that you check them out. There is no synthetic preservatives. They're paraben free. No SLS, which is sodium monosulfate. Alcohol free, pH balanced. Of course they're not tested on animals or I wouldn't have bought them. And they're hypoallergenic. And I looked at everything. I don't see a bad thing on them, at least not by my definition. I have a, a higher standard. If they say they're natural, I expect them to be natural based on what I know. Uh, no phenoxyethanol, no parabens, no SLS, uh, definitely no sucralose. So in my mind, these are actually natural. They don't break me out. They don't make my eyes burn. They are awesome. Okay. Um... I got a new base coat. I've been out of base coat for months. And one of the first things I did when I got paid was go to Sally's and pick up a couple of things. And that is also forthcoming in the same video with the vegan essentials information, I do believe. But I picked up Orly Top to Bottom, which is a base coat and top coat. This stuff is flipping amazing. I wore my nail polish this last week for seven days. And it chipped the last day on one, like one or two fingers, and I never had a problem out of it. It was amazing. Just a little tip wear, nothing major. So, definitely recommend that you pick that up if you need a new top coat, or base coat, whatever. Or base coat and top coat, it's all in one. And, oily polishes seem to dry really fast, so, I don't know. Speaking of oily polishes, I'm wearing one. Um, this is Orly in Night Owl which is kind of a mushroomy color. Love it. It's beautiful, dries fast. Um, two coats. I didn't have to do three. This is absolutely worth your time. I'm always, I'm, I'm getting in this mood for neutrals. Of course, with me, darks are neutrals too. <laughs> but I'm getting in this mood for neutrals, and I love this. And it's my first orally polish too. Um, I wore this. This is Wet n Wild Fergie in Ferguson Crest Sierra. A018, um, and it is a darkened purple with what I can't tell, I think it is red and purple, or red and pink shimmers. Easy as a dream to take off. No problems whatsoever. It's on my toes right now. It was on my nails all week long. Amazing. You need this color. It's the perfect fall color. Next thing is I have a Brescia Cosmetics haul coming, and so far I haven't played with all of it, but being the lippy addict that I am, the first thing I played with was the lippy. This is Peyton Lip Tint. I love this formula. I put it on overnight just because I was playing with it. I just didn't take it off. The next morning, my lips were so moisturized, so soft. I begged, <laughs> I beg you, Brianna, please make it clear so I can just have this in my bedside table. But it is kind of a honey shade. There's, there's um, um, a lot of frost to it but it doesn't, let's see if that shows up. It's very sheer, but you can build it up. It's a beautiful color, nice honey color. I love it, I love it. The last thing that I wanna talk about is the palette that I've been using this week and will probably continue next week. This is the Balm Jovi palette. And I am planning on doing a full-on review very, very soon, but I've been using this this week, and I just want to say, um, I haven't used this yet, but I used this as a cream blush, and it stayed on beautifully, magnificently, wonderfully. And uh, I have not had a miss. These are all great shadows. They're all great for different reasons. Um, I use Presto almost every day. If I don't use it in my crease with a light fluffy brush, I use it with a denser brush and blend it over, you know, browns, blacks, whatever eyeliner I'm using. But yes, I'm planning on doing a proper review on this very soon. But I am loving this. And that is everything, my loves. Um, I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.